totally lined up with my clock. My clock's lined up with your clock? Yeah. It's the right Yay. Of the second. That's because we're on internet time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be a second to realize it. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Friday. I'm just going to stop the music on my compies. There we go. And uh, as last, as Wednesday, we're on the new computer, which gives us capabilities. Beyond previous capabilities. <laughs> uh, capabilities like that. And oh, that. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that. No, oh, what's that? Oh, I see. That, because it's it right gives there. That. <laughs> what are you pointing at? Zero the floor? page. So oh, zero gives, gives us. That. That. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and I took um, to Thomas's wrong. advice and made the chat bigger, which will make it bigger when it's smaller. So you can see it a bit better. Will it ride up and cover your face or will it no, stop? Oh. I made it so it doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't want it scrolling all up the Otherwise, screen. Otherwise, you would have put it on the other side of the screen and it would ride up over my face. That's right. <laughs> Just scrolling. Someone's face is credits, going to be sacrificed. Credits over Darcy's <laughs> face here. Um, welcome to Zero Page. I'm James and... I am Darcy. Yes, and we've got four games today. Four. Four Very homebrew exciting. games, because that's what we play on this show. No old games, all new games. That's right. Relatively new. All know. new, sometimes new old games. Yes, new old. New old stock. Um, and today we are playing uh, Sandcastles, uh, Ram Pong, uh, High Score, Screen Burn, Slow Burn. It occurs to me <laughs> you might use that screen for multiple things. Yes, information. <gasps> you could put that up there and then... Oh, yes, okay. Um, also, time. we have the chat right above us, so I don't have to look down at this anymore. We just um, look like this, we'll go... Oh! If we're looking up, we're looking at you guys. Typey, typey, typey. Now all we need is to get some OK Google to type for us. <gasps> without Shh. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake the beast. <laughs> that would be good. I've, I've seen streams where it reads out. Yeah. In audio, so you don't even have to look. That's really good. It is. Because it's really kind of like, it feels like disingenuous to like read someone i don't know why but it feels dumb for me to read people's uh text out <laughs> well presumably when well, most bit. people could read i don't know what it is there's I something mean, it, in me but if it if it said it out it would just be more natural because it is on the screen mm -hmm. and the people typing it can see it on their screens yeah so i can see where you're coming from it's like why are we reading it out when everybody can see it yeah but but if, he, if they it, have to know what we're responding to yeah yeah so but we, if it read it out yes what, what i mean i'm just i'm just I'm just advertising for True. this, uh, you know, I'll think about it, robot voice. I've heard just... it and it's kind of cool, the robot voice. Well, you can well, probably get lots the... of different ones. Too. But then that introduces audio issues and I have to have uh, separate audio lines for that without the game feeding back and us feeding back. It's Yeah. I like this. Looking up at you, Thrust26. Yes, we are. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last game, Man Goes Down, and there's some fun and interesting and tragic stories for uh, the last three games. The first game is just, mm. just a game that we're going to play. <clears throat> Nothing too outrageous or crazy or anything going on there. Um, and I've been discussing with Thomas um, the issues with 60 frames a second. Well, not just 60 frames a second, capturing. Uh, capturing um, at 60 frames a second. Right, right. And was it him I'm talking with? Oh, my God. So many names. Yeah, it is. And then he told me that the Atari doesn't output at 60 frames a second. It outputs at whatever the programmer wants to output as. Because oh. the Atari can send the signal... Okay, draw a new screen now. And he says games can range from 55 hertz to 65 hertz oh. normally. And, and it's whatever the acceptable range of a television can accept because there's a, a variance yeah. that a TV can handle. And I'm like, oh my God, no wonder there's issues trying to record streams. It's like doing uh, double... Is that why the Harmony thing sometimes vibrates? Yes, uh, because that is I a... I wondered about that. 
because I didn't, I didn't see how that could be possible. Like, I it does it a bit on here, but on there it does it in a different way. It does look a little different. Here it vibrates, but there sometimes it gets like slightly out of sync, it seems. Yeah, we're talking about the TV versus the stream. Yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah because I don't know what the Harmony, I don't have a ROM of the Harmony cart. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I'm sure I could um, get it from Al or somebody. Um, or uh, or Daryl Spice Jr. But um, there's plenty of things to, to try out. And there's a chart. And also the emulator tells you what frame rate things are at too. Right. So I'll be doing some experimentation uh, soon with frame rate versus capturing. Because even... It's there even at a specific... It does line rate. There's a very specific amount of time a line takes. Mm -hmm. And then you multiply it by how many lines you want to draw on the screen right. before you say, do it over again. So, because some games, um, you want them tall. And some, uh, you don't need to draw as much. Right. And outside <clears throat> of the frame, you do the calculations of the game while it's waiting. Right, right. And you don't want to push it too far because your screen will start flipping out. Right, right. Which we have seen. Yeah, yeah. And it cuts out the stream sometimes, but I fixed that. Um, but yeah, so I was getting into that with Thomas. The stream, streaming suffers, but the final repost is perfect. Mm. Oh, here we go. Thrust26 did the menu for Har Harmony. <laughs> that is the advantage of uh, having wonderful people in our chat. <laughs> uh, so he says it's 60 hertz. So what is going on? Yeah. It does fall out of sync. So but now, it, it, but there are so many there are so many steps that could give it a hiccup, and yes. that's probably it. I mean, even on the screen here, I mean, the effect is really cool. <laughs> um, kind of. No, no, it is. It's, it's really cool, and it's obviously intentional. You mean when um, it's working or when it goes out of sync? The when it's working. Oh yeah, it yeah, looks... yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's really cool. Yeah. Um, and it it it's just interesting, and it yeah. and it's and it's highlighted the differences because like. Right now, what I'm looking at, and you, I guess it's not up there yet. They're not seeing that. They're seeing this, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're so, Let me you know, just over. little bits where it gets out of sync enough that the the font is only kind of, it's only like half there. I mean, only one half of the signal is getting there. Because it's inter, interlaced, right? Uh, but the, the Atari doesn't do interlaced stuff. It does full... It's very different. <laughs> it does progressive. Like that there. Are you guys seeing that or is that just us? They should be seeing that, yes. They yeah. should be seeing that. I just got to fix the, the chat. Uh, to, be, to be clear, this is not something that needs to be fixed. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. It's perfectly <laughs> fine. It's like it, it fine. almost never matters. It's fine. It's fine. But it's not great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fixing the, the chat box. One second, everybody. Sorry, because it's a new setup, and unless I'm streaming, I can't see where the chat box is. There we go. So, uh, interlaced and progressive are similar. Are, okay, I was just going to say, because they're, they're drawing like, similar frames. Problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the so Atari 2600 is progressive. Every frame so is So, interlaced like full... is like faking it, but progressive is like, that's the source. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But but my point is that like it's flickering it flashes... at thirty hertz. Yes, it is flickering at thirty hertz. Um, yeah, it's f the screen is redrawn sixty times a second. Yeah, out of the Atari, approximately from fifty five to sixty five, whatever they say. Um, and because it's bigger, like it doesn't do the full resolution of a NTSC or PAL. Yeah, it kind of thickens the line, so it just does a whole thing all at once. It doesn't skip lines. Okay. Yeah. Why does this look like it's like? Because when when you catch this on an off, like yeah. it goes between two two yeah. half images, so like <laughs> half the font, the other half of the font. Yes. And when you get stuck in the middle, you only see half, and it doesn't mean anything. It's like almost meaningless to you. Yeah. And it draws half um, because the Atari's not fast enough to, to do this high resolution. To do this high resolution yeah. all at once. So in that yeah. way, it's interlaced. Sort right. of. Yeah. So this, it, that, yeah, I mean, that's that's what I mean. That, like, it's vibrating. Yeah. I assumed that part of the <laughs> point was to make it kind of like hum a little bit, right? But I guess The not. humming you're seeing right now, yes. But yeah. the crazy 30 Or when you, when you blink, you can get the... <laughs> you can. If you can match the 60 times... 
I can't. 30, 30 times a second, because then you would only see. No, no, no my eyes cannot blink that fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's multiple things here. There's the Atari. Mm -hmm. Then there's the RGB board that I put in, yep. which I may have to look into that too. Right. How that interprets the signal, because it is doing some post-processing on that. Um, whether it just goes, yep, whatever I get, spit out at whatever hurts as well. Then it goes into the Frame Meister, which should be totally awesome. It should just be a pass-through, right? It should be, but it's not generally made for, you know, old... Like, Atari 2600 stands on its own in terms of, frame, like, setting up frames. Yeah, yeah. Every other game system has a screen buffer. And it puts out very regular screens. Right. The screen's not okay. done. Screen's not done. Yeah. It still yeah. spits it out. Yeah. If I'm saying anything wrong, please let me know. <laughs> um, so the Frame Meister might, might be like, I don't care about Atari. I'll deal with everything else. Yeah. Um, but I have that set to 60 hertz. So maybe that's the weak link and it's missing things and it gets off kilter. Then it goes to an Elgato. Um, uh, capture device, which is set to 60, right? For sure. Actually, the Frame Meister set to 720p60, and the Elgato set to 720 720p60 as well. And then it goes to OBS, <laughs> which is set to and that's software, right? Software, okay. which is set to 1080p60. So along that chain from Frame Meister to Elgato to that, it should be. It all, stays 60 all the it way. It stays 60. So yeah. whatever Frame Meister is getting. It may or may not spit out. At it. I can take a look at that because it has an info screen, so I have to look at that. And then it gets outputted to Twitch. Right. Which And also to a file on my computer, which is definitely at a hard 60 as well. So definitely the game, ca the game capture, the software are set at 60. It's not accepting yeah. 55 to 65 for sure. So but if it, like, I don't it, know. Most of the games are most of the games down at sixty. Then they're all over the board. But if None it was fifty-five, exactly. wouldn't if it was fifty-five, wouldn't it be much more obvious? Yeah, wouldn't, because then, we don't because we don't see very many problems, and they're certainly and not as regular as something that's fifty-five. Is my point? Yeah, like I if think it was, most of them are close to sixty. Yeah, because otherwise, you, it, it, it'd be I, I don't know. I would just expect it to catch up with us very very quickly that's missing five frames every second yeah thrust says 55 is rare so is 65 so i think yeah. most of them try and stick to 60. yeah well we should find one that's 55 and 65 and see what happens uh he did mention those in a forum post so i can i'll play with those yeah and day. then see if that's a problem somewhere yeah. more of a problem more of a problem yeah yeah and not much of a, like the, basically looks awesome <laughs> most <laughs> of the time it's fine it's for me totally when i fine. when i see the flicker the only thing for me is I just wonder why. <laughs> That's it doesn't, mine. It doesn't really bother me. I and just, if I can fix it. And if, yeah, of course, if you can fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's for another day. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be playing Sand Castles by Brian Shia, or she, uh, aka Metal Babble. Um, so I'll hand it off to you. High Sand castles and uh, there's no way to avoid getting a high score on my first play. <laughs> it's always the highest <laughs> it's score. Always the highest yet score. So that looks very nice. Nice blue. I like that blue on the bottom. Well, that's a bit piercing. Okay. So this does support two button. I'm gonna sit in your head, little cat. I'm gonna turn that oh. down in the in the stream a bit. And your little uh, little apple dude, little smiley apple dude, something you'd find at a dentist office. Yeah! And you're killing crabs. I got, uh... They need killing. 400 oh. points, highest score. That's excellent. Um, and this is a finished game, he stated. I don't know if it's been released yet, because um, he just finished it in November 2017. So I don't think it's been put out on cart. I'm very certain it has not been put out on cart yet. Um, I can send you a test program with variable frequency. Yes. 
Oh my god. Yes, please. That would be amazing, Thomas. Um, because I I did get a test program. This is the best game ever. Because <laughs> you haven't died yet. Um, I did get a test game um, from Daryl Spice Jr. Um, uh -oh. Oh, that I'm has on. kind of a count count leader. Am I on something? Huh? Just... You're on well, drugs. No, but I mean like. A... I'm not on the ground. No, there's... Like, I'm quite <laughs> high off the ground. He now. says this is the final version, so... It's fine. I was just wondering... If... I I would not call this the final version. There's a lot of screen jump. Ah, uh, but the final version is the last one you worked on. No, no, he said final. Final version. Yeah, exactly. It's the last <laughs> one you're planning to do. It's true. Yeah. It may not be the perfect version, but it is the final. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much jumping. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of danger. Does that come later? <laughs> you know what? I did play this a tiny bit a little while back, and it is very simple for a lot of levels. And then it gets some little trickiness, because nothing's coming after you, right? And they're, they're like far away from you. And you do tend to walk on air a lot. Um, sorry, um, Thomas, yes, please send me a test program with a variable frequency. That would be amazing. And I can just crank it from 55 to oh, 60. no, no! Danger! No. Kill it! I don't even, I don't know Kill how it. to, I don't know how to, like, not do this e Kill easy it. way, because I'm used to, like, <laughs> being yeah. just the king. There you go. And then suddenly something's trying to actually kill me. <laughs> ah! Now it's getting not super easy. But do it's I have still to shoot very these? easy. Shoot everything. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions. Cause... Oh yeah. Okay. Because the, the game is too easy. Uh, I and this is by Brian Shia, aka Metal Babble. I just finished up a side scroller platformer called Sand Castles. I wanted to share a copy if anyone's interested. This is he posted in November 26, 2017. Uh, here's a quick rundown. Shoot to ah. defeat monsters to clear each round. Kill death. You, oh no! Kill everything on the screen, and death disappears. Oh, apparently. Uh, I guess that's the you are taking too long mechanic. Yes. I was wondering if there was one. That was first introduced in. Oh, we what's that game called? called? It's a bunch of different rooms, and you go in the room and it expands. It's, it's, oh, I can't remember. Damn. Evil Auto. Yes, Evil Auto. But what's the name of the game? It starts with an S. S. Snake. No! Oh! oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember. Died? Hey, I got to like level many. <laughs> there you go. Where? Uh, the first dashed one, I think. Just start where I, where I get. Shoot to defeat monsters to clear each round. If you spend Whoa. too much time on a level, you'll get chased by the Reaper. Health bar is to the bottom right, lives to the bottom left. Left difficulty switch to control game difficulty. B for longer time before Reaper and health restore each level. Uh, welcome, MX Local. I think that's a new name. Welcome. Hello. 4,100 points. Thank you, Thrust, for keeping track. Uh, so I can beat it. <laughs> Sorry, I've been doing too many homebrew competitions lately. Right, difficulty switch. Uh, turns music on and off. Oh. Works with Sega Genesis controllers with multiple buttons supported. Which were B to shoot, C to jump. Of course, it nice. also works with the 2600 joystick, where up jumps. I love when they build in support for this joystick. So much easier with two buttons. Oh, uh, yeah. If I had to press up to jump, Ugh. I would have been smushed real quick. Yep. Well, I don't know. I would have found death a lot quicker. Uh, DPC and Kernel tested in Stella and Harmony cartridge. This looks like a, a Batari game. It just has that... Did the, pa did a, did a, did a platform just appear? Uh, no, I At fell down. down. Yeah. Hi. And you fell... Hi, Pixel. Oh, you f I see. I you, fell down you fell, a bit. I see what you're saying, yeah. You fell Hi, and it Pixel. changed, changed the what was it. showing, yeah. It is it vertically? Oh, I'm taking too long. Ah. See, even I didn't see death this early. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Well. Okay, kit, kitten, you're gonna have to get kicked out if you don't behave. Oh. Why can't you behave like this one? 
He's just, well, he's like, well, this is my show. It's called right. Me. It's, it's called the Me the show, show. With me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were the switches options? One was music. And One then... made it, uh, if you had it on B, which yeah. is... We do, I think. Uh, no, we have it on A for the left difficulty, which was the appropriate one. Okay. Which makes sense, because I always play better when it's on the harder difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pixel! Sorry. Evicted. Evicted. Uh, let's see here. Uh, left difficulty switch to control <laughs> game difficulty. Oh. So unless it's... Uh, looks like it's on uh, A, but it's uh, in fact on B. Uh, are you going to go out there? I was distracted by cats. They took my time up and death came. You got him! <laughs> I think I killed him with my foot. Did you shoot him? Uh, I, yeah, I did shoot. But it looked like I ran into him to kill him. But I know you can't. Because you just died from doing that. You know, I did shoot the umbrella. See, um, there you hit the umbrella. And it's like hook, and it didn't die. But previously, uh, you hit one on the hook, and it did die. Is it maybe the side that you hit it on? Because there, you hit it on the hook, and it died. It may be the, the collision detection they use. And See, the, you and got the, it there. Hmm. I'm closing in on your score. Well, you should be, because this <laughs> is where I got to. I don't know where bonuses come in. See the screen jumping? It's not good. That means he's cha Whoa! changing lines. Oof. The challenge is, in this game, is the height of your jump <laughs> to match with the, the thing you're trying to kill. Oh, I have to do it this way. Or dropping down. Yeah. Oh, you there's more! Go. Somewhere! Right there. Very nice uh, graphics for the apple. Very colorful. Yeah. Yep, I have to agree. And even the enemies I'm... are colorful. And I knew it was this game from the ah. uh, cover. Ah! Oh. ah. Kill! Gotta, die! You gotta look out, because death is... Oh my god, you have to do it all over again. Can you shoot death? Because uh, I think I shot death one time. You did. Uh, that one the was early one. It's, only, its own level, though. Uh, yes. Where death is the only thing on the screen. Yeah. Having the chat up there is like a thousand times better. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my ideas. Not really. No, it was a, it was a combined idea. I couldn't have it up there before because it was that screen used to be running on the motherboard uh, video card. Ah, and you couldn't do both at the same and, time. And in my computer, just bleh, just barf when you try and do that. Mm. Especially when you're doing anything intensive, like streaming. And now streaming is not intensive! Yay! Because I have a new computer! Oh my god, knives! Knives! I'm not gonna lie, it is satisfying that the things that are you're, that are trying to fall down and kill you, that you defeat them by killing them. It is nice, rather than just avoiding them. You can shoot knives off the screen. <laughs> it is very satisfying. The numbers at the I see, so are you do get bonus points for finishing quickly. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Is there... Yeah, there's a time limit on the right. Bottom right. Did you read the, all the rules? Yes. You did. I did, yeah. I missed them. Uh, I was playing. Th no, it's your health. That's what it is. It's not time. Oh. It's health. So if you don't take ah. any damage, you get bonus points at the end. Damn it. No. So you just lost some bonus points for touching that... Uh, whatever uh, that is. If you touched it. Oh, I did. Okay, press C to duck. Oh, what? <laughs> so no. I was just, sorry. That's, that's I was just automatically <laughs> thinking, how do you duck? How do you duck? Yeah, there's no ducking. You're an apple. You are you an apple. Oh. Ah! Is that it? Game over, sir. You did not double my score. Okay. Both going to play one more game of this. <laughs> Read a bit more about it. Tested in Stella. And Harmony Cartridge. He must have had a um, CRT hooked up to it. 
This is a jumpy, jumpy game. But it's cool. If he, if he just, um, it's only a couple things he needs to fix. It's the screen jumps, so he just needs to count his lines so that it doesn't go off the screen. And, uh, I mean, even you being raised up off the platforms isn't a big deal. But, um, yeah, he has various levels of height off the platform he stands. Which actually makes it a bit more challenging, because you never know where you're going to jump up from. Or what height you're going to get to. So I don't mind that, that part too much. See, as you jump, you get higher and higher off the platforms. Jesus. <laughs> the jumping is challenging. Oh, can I open up the window a bit? And also, I don't know if you noticed, my new computer is super quiet. Probably don't notice. Yeah. Thrust lacks polishing, but some nice graphics. Yeah, the Apple graphic with the Apple smiling and his feet. I mean, they're moving constantly. He's like slipping all the time. Isn't there something about roller skates I was reading? Maybe not. Maybe that was a different game. Um, but he's like constantly running, so there's constant animation. It'd be better if he stopped his feet when he wasn't moving. But the challenge is in the timing of the shooting, that's for sure. Which wastes time. I would just jump up there and shoot them. Or, <laughs> or the, uh, how far you are off the platform uh, could get you. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Evil Auto. Maybe it's intentional so you get higher off the platform. It is very random how far off the platform, and it seems to increase as you get further up. Up the levels. Up the platforms, you seem to get higher. Actually, you're like two pixels off there. And now you're like four, three or four now. And now you're even higher. So I think there's like a small calculation issue in his program where it somehow makes you higher off the platform the higher up you are. <laughs> Which, and then you land there and you're lower than before. It's very strange. Yeah, this is the one you can kill. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shot it. Shot it. I do find that a with a lot of games that I encounter that are on ho that are made by people in homebrew, they have great ideas, but it's the little final touches that they don't follow up on. Like this, just needs the the little little bit of polishing. Like like Thomas says, the it's the screen jumping and the height off the platform. Everything else is like super awesome. Like the guy who comes after you for taking too long, that's like definitely motivates you. <laughs> you can do it. You got a li oh, I almost got a life. Ah! Even when he dies, it's really nice. Uh, nice little graphics with the X's. And the concept's really simple. Shoot everything on the screen. And it's a nice variety. Things are falling. Things are going back and forth. Yeah, it's really, really good. 80-20 rules. Yeah, 80% are done in 20% of the time. The remaining 20% becomes tedious 80% work. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh! oh! Yay! You made it further? I didn't make it further, oh, but I got more points. More points. Oh, because you repeated. Yeah, because if you die, you have to do the whole level over again. So 80% polishing. Yeah. And that's what it is. Like, if you watch the development of homebrew games, like in the forums, the basic game is done almost, like, fairly quickly. And then it's months and months, if not years, of little tweaking and, and polishing and... And I mean, you were you were making a game, like a little um, yep. maze hunter game, and you got the basics done fairly quick. 
And then after that, it's all a lot of just tedious little tweaking and changing things around. Remember, that's not the last bat either. It's the last one for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> 5.50 Okay, time is a factor. Yay! And, uh, and the uh, ramp up of difficulty is pretty good too in this game. Crabs are really nice looking. Yeah. Great use of um, colors. Because yep. the Atari can only kind of do one color per line. On the Apple, he's got two. He's got the white and the red, so that's really good. But he does sacrifice... And you can do black. Uh, oh, he's got black, black and white. So he's using two sprites to draw the Apple. I'm going to call them sprites, even though that's not what they're originally called. What were they originally called? Players. Player zero and player one. Because sprites, the word... I don't think was invented. Hello, Arena Foot! Welcome! Um, yeah, the, the apple's really good because it does use two, two sprites. So you can see when I jump up, the crab flickers because now it has to flicker one of those sprites. And I think it doesn't, it flickers the eyes because that would be the best thing to flicker rather than the solid. Let me just see. That's pretty tell. Oh. So this, the, the apple uh, changes oh, color the apple, and the eyes actually. stays the same. That actually works really good because the eyes would kind of weird. are the creature. That's true. Like the, the, <laughs> the, the eyes are your soul, right? That's right. The soul of the apple. The core of the apple. <laughs> uh, uh, terrible. I like that. Terrible. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> the game Look is... out! Ah! 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 Shoot! <laughs> yeah, you just wait till he gets to you and shoot him. The game is a foot. What? I don't get that. <laughs> the game is a foot. It is a foot. Yeah, but is a... you don't know the term? A foot? Yeah. But what's the pun? The apple has feet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're right. I got it. I understand. <laughs> I know the literal term that they're... Oh, I'm going to get the bad guy coming after me. Taking too long. Well, maybe you're the bad guy. I mean, yeah, maybe. you are the one destroying all of the umbrellas just floating this, from the sky. They're being peaceful. They're being, like, totally fine. The crabs are just chilling out on their levels. And I'm the guy coming in and killing all these happy umbrellas. One more. So I sometimes in the game you do have to question us, are we the baddies? <laughs> are, we, are we the baddies? <laughs> yep. Oh my god. What? I swear I shot him that time. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? I was robbed. Robbed, robbed we, we say. Robbed. in time I heard the noise. Oh, ah. it's inside joke between me and Arena Foot. Ah, a foot, Arena Foot. Ah. Okay. See, if we tried a little harder, we probably would have gotten that joke. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you guys are like moving at like mock. They are. I don't some, remember being that fast last time. I, I do. It here. I remember, no, you did, and you killed them all, and I was like, you were just talking. Like, you weren't even paying attention. I was so annoyed. That's probably why I died. Oh, the knives. Remember the knives? You got to the I knives. died on the knives, though, didn't I? No, I think you shot all the knives. Oh, yeah. Next that one was the last one you shot last oh, time. Oh, the next one was really hard. Yeah, that's easy. Let's see. Was it a platformy? Oh, yes. Yeah, I was, was dying was falling down. Bats. Yeah. That was the issue. Ah, oh, like that. Because they... You're turning your uh, squares into X's. There we go. I just have to... Oh! <laughs> he did it again! Arr! Let's go up this way. Ah. Ah. Not leaving myself much room to jump. There we go. I found that it was difficult oh! to... Uh, <laughs> 
I found that it was difficult to fire. Uh, I would jump and then I'd press fire and nothing would happen. Oh, like not even firing? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. And I had to give it like a pause between the jump and the fire. God. So I don't know if I was just, it was might have been a physical thing. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go, finally. There you go. There. It's a nightmare. <laughs> On purpose, obviously. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. <laughs> oh, a little troller fish. Oh my. Flickery troller fish. Okay. You gotta kill some of them oh, stop flickering. Oh, that's it. What got you? The pit of death. Like I was trying to jump, but I just fell instead. I didn't jump in time. Well, you looked like you were on a platform. All right, next. So that was that was good. It has a lot of it promise. It has not been released yet. I do advise the guy goes in and fix the flicker at least. Do eighty percent of the work. <laughs> yeah, just do eighty percent. <laughs> Come on. The remaining eighty percent. I mean. That's Dan's welcome for me from Atari <laughs> IO chat room from back in the day. A spin on my screen name. Justin is supposed to bring back I Atari IO chat soon. Oh, cool. Is that like a web page thing or where is Atari IO chat? I believe when I see it, I haven't seen any progress. Okay, so the next game, and I'll switch the game because I'm, I'm on it today, is Ram Pong. And we do have to switch out because this is a Pong game, which is obviously played best with paddles. So if you could get those out and I'll start this getting ready. Thank you very much. Which one of these is good? Uh, they both should be good because they're in my good box. Atari.io is the website. Oh. Atari. Uh, oh, awesome. This is, well, I think I have to use the selectors. Okay. Ram Pong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which one am I? Oh, I'm on the left. Yeah, you're on the wrong side. I have the jittery controller. <laughs> Mine's not perfect, but it's not bad. Uh oh. Uh. I like <laughs> I like it. I like that like the goal gets pushed each time. That's it. Here. Oh no, it's frozen. It's over. No, it's frozen. So I, it was just it has to be a draw. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's frozen. Oh, it says they can't see anything. There it's you go. Just, what do you mean you now. can't see anything? You're saying we're nothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> We are things. Sorry, I'll reset that. One second. Yeah, I mean, that. Uh, clearly that didn't count. No. <laughs> uh oh, we are. <laughs> uh -oh we're, being, we're being trash talked in the chat. Here, I think you're controlling. Uh oh, we are. No. Does this work? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Nice. Or not. What is happening? It's frozen. But it's not. My button not working? Oh, oh there, there go. we go. Maybe your button. No? You have to do it angrily, because it worked when you did it angrily. <laughs> it did work angrily. <laughs> there we go. Angry button presses. There we go. Okay, Rampong. Oh, here hey, we go. Hey, you didn't even show them the title screen. Um, We're on the wrong side again. Here. Uh, oh, yeah. So, is that button? Yes. Do the... <laughs> it's not working as soon as you... Oh, okay. So don't touch it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it yeah. working before. Oh, I know, because you had it pegged? Give me that. I don't know if you're pressing it or not. I'm not pressing it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here. No, don't press C. Don't press it yet. Okay, slow, fast. Color, he, black and white. He doesn't trust me. 
<laughs> enough to hold the controller without pressing the button. I don't. <laughs> the previous <laughs> times I did it unknowing. <laughs> Here you oh, go. I can have it now? Yes. <laughs> okay. So this is Thrust's game. The guy in there. Ah. You ready? Yes, I'm ready now. Ah. Ah, that's right. That's what ah. happens. That's what happens. No. <laughs> ah. Yeah. It's fast. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> See, I won the first game. <laughs> I don't think he can reset this game. What? That's one thing that should have put put in. Nah, whatever. Okay. Now I'm going to read about it because this is a really, really interesting game. And you'll soon see why it's really interesting. I really like that, like, each time you miss it, the, the line goes across. It's yes. a very uh, good way to tell whether or not Keep you're scoring. losing. And it makes you, the closer it gets you, the more likely you are to continue <laughs> losing. You're like, ah, it's coming! Ah, ah, ah! For sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was originally uh, this is Rampong by Thomas uh, Jentz. Please let me know if I said that right. No reset, no space. <laughs> um, uh, this is originally first posted uh, Sunday, April 26, 2009 at 2.30 a.m. Pacific time? My time? I don't know. He says, I always wondered if it is possible to let a game run from the 128 bytes of RAM so here is my first try, a single player Pong using paddles. Okay, there's no scoring. Actually, it's dual player. This is his first post. He altered it since then. Okay, there's no scoring. Game over or sound. Well, now there is a game over and there is sound, mm -hmm. as he added to it. But you can play it. And after loading into your VCS, you can remove the cart and ah, it still runs. That's cool. So let's show you that. Let's reset it. Uh, Buttons are weak. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> There's uh, some elder abuse going on here. <laughs> yeah, He's forty year olds his... abusing forty year olds. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it works. I think, I think. What? Is that, I have to press it nicely? Oh, these paddles need a beating. <sighs> Why were the controls on the um, console working uh, before? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. And now they're not. Yeah. That is a very, very good question. Is it because the difficulties have changed, or...? That is possible. No, oh. it's because that's not centered. Oh, like... yes. But this should work. The game reset is a select. It's because the paddles are in. It's pissing me off. Because the button's not working on the paddle. Ah! Okay. We're doing this. We're unplugging the paddles. Uh, oh, yeah. See, it works fine. It's the paddles interfering. Yeah. And now you can plug them in? No. Well, I don't know. Well, what were you going to do? I don't know. Without the controllers? Not much. You have a plan. <laughs> I can tell that you have a plan, but I cannot tell what it is. <laughs> I thought I knew, but I, I don't. Okay. I just don't know. So let's press play. See, it works fine. What works fine? Okay, watch. Watch watch the camera. Oh my god, it did too slow. <laughs> oh, I see. It has to have... You have to pull it up before the... Uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh. You just have to pull it out. Really <laughs> fast. Pull it out really fast. Okay. Now watch the webcam. Oh, that's Quick exciting. Play. <laughs> Before what? Before it's game over. <laughs> oh, does it need it? Does it need to connect again when it's game over? No, it oh, doesn't. Okay. It's just like we will not be playing in about two seconds. 
Here, I'll let it go to my side a bit. <laughs> oh, you let it, ah! eh? I wasn't. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Did it hit the back of mine? Yeah, it hit the back of mine. <laughs> oh, you ah! did it again. You gotta get out of the way. <laughs> it can go right off screen. Can you go off screen? Yeah. There we go. You're right out of the way now. Okay, now I'm coming back. Bugger. Bugger it. Bugger it! No! <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, there is absolutely no cartridge in the Atari, and we're playing a game. Yeah. Okay, hit it straight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said hit it straight. And I was, uh... So this game... Oh. <laughs> That's hard. It is a very difficult game. So this game is entirely... Oh, I'm trying to get it over. Get off the screen. This game is entirely in the RAM of the Atari, which is 128 bytes of RAM. Um, there's a little comic strip um, that has some consoles on it, and they're, like, reminiscing and uh, about the old, good old days of gaming. And the 2600 is, is the punchline, and he says he has no memory of it. But it's obviously not true, because the Atari does have memory. We're playing a game on it. <laughs> and it, this is... If... I'm not... Go right to the top. Right to the top. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And if I'm, if I'm not incorrect, uh, is this the first ever game fully put into RAM um, on an Atari 2600. First playable real like game because you can put whatever you want in 128 bytes of RAM. You can turn the screen blue and that's all you need to do and it's like that long. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is a fully playable game. Unfortunately it doesn't have reset. That would be awesome because you have to turn it off, turn it back on every time. But that would have taken 129 <laughs> Bites. Yes, and that is the issue. <laughs> too many, too many bites. You'd have to sacrifice something else, like the sound. Um, let's see. No offense, but there's a nice parallel here. At least 20% of the fun of the show is that 80% of the electronics <laughs> fail. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they're all 40 years old! I, what can you You're do? They're pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're good for 40-year-old It's the things. younger electronics parts that are failing us, not the... Oof. Yeah, I guess some of yeah no you're right some of the hardware like the controllers the paddles are kind those of those are those pissy. paddles are terrible I'll, every single one of them like the button the button works why isn't the button working in the menu like when we get to this I press it it just works totally fine mm -hmm. anyway I think about a dozen more Rams game games have come out af after this title has come out yeah because once you show you can do it then there's a challenge. <laughs> Um, but do they have a reset? Well, that's why they're talking about Atari Vox. Yeah, the Atari Vox is connected. So you hear it every time you turn on the system. Atari uh, Vox. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I thought that was the Harmony cart. But no. yeah, I get you. Because I've heard that and I didn't know what it was. I have it now permanently connected to the uh, mixing board. And I have it at a pretty decent level. So you can hear it. And it comes through the same thing as the microphone. Seven other RAM games. Ah, seven. Nice. Um, okay. That's that's pretty much the game. Is that's Pong. it. <laughs> I think I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Wait. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, there's two that can play the cheating game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off with those paddles. I won the only game that was witnessed. I think I was abusing them for no reason. I think... Something was wrong. Yeah. I'm blaming the Atari box this time. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So, the next game. Let's uh, transition over and I can set up the next graphic. I saw this article about people kicking the delivery robots. <laughs> and, like, attacking the delivery robots. What? Well, of course they will. And it's like, and they were like... You know, this is a sign of how cruel people will be to robots when oh, they come around. for sure. And it's like, yeah, it's also, if you're cruel to a robot, it's kind of like some insight into who you would be if you lived in 
different times. Oh yeah, <laughs> to the to the lower peasants, yeah, the people you were allowed people legally that, to the people abuse. that you think of as lesser yeah. and therefore not worth respect. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so I wouldn't just, abuse a robot. Just so you, Would just you? so you're warned. If we catch you abusing any robots, we'll know. <laughs> There won't be back. any. There won't be any consequences from us, probably, except that we'll we'll, we'll know. We'll you'll see it in our eyes when we look at you. Well, it's damaging company company property. When we look at your comments on the, the chat, <laughs> our, there'll be a, a slight a slight. Uh, Are we the robots? What are you talking about? No, we will just judge. Oh. We're going to counter judge. It's all about judging. Oh. <laughs> How they <laughs> reacted to my abuse of the of the yeah the pots were working really well after I fiddled with the one blood. wasn't. At first, it was great, but you had to like wiggle it, and then yeah. it was fine. Yeah, I think I just need to spray some some lube in it and get it going. Okay, the next game is called High Screen, High Score Screen. Oh my God, High Score Screen Burn Slow Burn. And I'll let you play first, <laughs> and that's a bit of a joke, and you'll see why. Okay, you can press it. Yeah, start that and go down. No, go down to High Score Screen Burn Slow Burn. Uh, press it. And then go down. That's the game. Okay. Okay. So I'll read right away what this is about. Uh, this is made by BJ Best. Uh, this was posted uh, December 14th, 2017, 8.56 a.m. Hello, all. I'm excited to release the beta of my next game. High score, screen burn, slow burn. It's an experimental game where you play by not playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make games in the VCS that feature designs that are more contemporary or experimental. Space Cactus Canyon had procedurally generated play fields, for example. So he's the same guy who did Space Cactus Canyon. Uh, I also like weird small internet games that do just normal things normal games don't do, such as maybe not being a game at all. Uh, so onwards to the details. Objective. Get the high score. Players, one or fewer. <laughs> <laughs> Controls, maybe. <laughs> How to play. Start the game. Watch for a minute or two. Walk away. <laughs> Come back in half an hour and check in. Walk away. Come back the following day, week, month. Check in. Do you have the high score yet? <laughs> Screen tip. If you'd like to be slightly more active in your play, be sure your sound is on. It might occasionally rouse you to the alertness, to alertness. Yeah, it does beep every once in a while. <laughs> so let me know what you think, if you find bugs, etc. As the title and how to play suggest, this game is indeed a slow burn. Give it time. And of course, be sure you post your high scores. Extra special fake bonus points if you're playing on a real TV. Yay! Yeah. Bonus points! Is that a real TV? That's a real TV. You can get TV stuff over it. Oh. And all that and uh let me post my uh you got fake bonus points uh, we don't have any points yeah i did i do get fake bonus points doesn't say how, how do we many. do we add those manually to our score uh yeah you would have to add it manually <laughs> um. <laughs> you didn't say how many fake bonus points we got no i guess but since fake bonus points are the only points we have at this point <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, that's what I want to add, because I do have a high score that I got the other day. I'll put that in that little corner there. There we go. So I was playing it the other day, and there's the score I got. What did you get, 313? Oh, actually it's in the, the chat's covering it up, but, uh, 319. So I was running for 12 hours or something, mm. I think. About 12 hours. Um, yeah, the controls are perfect in this game. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no problems. The graphics, there's a bit of, there's actually a bit of a jump going from so screen to screen. Points? It so does. So you get points if that, you don't accidentally get lose it. Get, oh! oh! Opportunity <laughs> missed. Oh, that was a. You know, I just, sometimes I don't play that great. And well, this is one of those times. It's when you're, it's when you're trying too hard. Yeah is when you concentrate too much and you just got to get into it. the flow you just got to yeah. get into the flow okay now we got to concentrate this time but not too much just let it happen just no up come on up okay good there's a good run at it they just 
Oh, no, it did not look good. Come on, just up, 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 up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, the opportunities do come back though. Do they? Yeah, every hmm. screen. Arena Fub got thirty-one. That's not bad. Oh. How long did that take? Because it's kind of a time, time score thing. Because you can keep it running, so it's like a time divided by score would be a better approximation because you could have it running forever. I get the name of the game because back in the day, certain C CRT TVs, certain games will burn an image on the screen after it turned off. Yes. Yeah, we had even we, we had a plasma TV. Yeah. And we had the Wii. We had we played uh, a bunch. There was a game that we played like Raving Rabbits or something and like didn't that. Didn't move. Like and it was score. like there were like things burnt on the screen. Uh, luckily, uh, our, the, it it solved itself. You just had to like watch TV, and the burn would go away, yeah. which was not something you could assume with the plasma TVs. But there's a good web page. Because um, Corey, who was here the other day, was talking to me about OLED TVs, and he said, "Oh, don't get one right now because there's bad burn in." Uh. And so I was like, "Really." I haven't heard that before. I thought I would hear that because I heard it on various TVs, mm -hmm. um, plasma TVs and some other ones. Um, so I looked it up and there's actually a year long experiment happening right now that somebody's doing with an OLED television, a bunch of them. And he's every day he's taking a screenshot of this, like he has score, like a, a static s screen uh, and different oh. colors each. It's close. I was Come trying on. too hard. I, was, I screwed it up <laughs> by trying too hard again. You got to just not just have it go in the background. So you were saying. And so there's a static little thing in the corner. Like if it was a tick news ticker or, you know, CNN in the corner or whatever. And every day takes a picture of it, of the screen. And you can scroll through and it gets darker and darker and darker as time goes on. Obviously, it's an extreme example. Mm-hmm. And he, he runs it 20 hours a day and then four hours off. And 20 hours a day and four hours off. Because some people actually do that. They just leave the news on yeah, yeah. all day long in the background. And so it's like, and after not too long, it's actually bad. Um, but he doesn't switch away from it. Yeah, that's the thing. With, with yeah. our television, you can get rid of it just by watching not that. <laughs> yes. Just by changing it. And it, and it, it went away a pretty... Like, pretty quick. I was worried at first, but it went away pretty quick. I mean, uh, in the 80s, my dad had a computer for business. Mm. And it was, like, the accounting software. Yeah. And they had, a like, an amber screen. Yes. And they all, like, just 24 hours a day. <laughs> literally 24 hours a day. Same program. They had the same program and the, the frame. And, uh, yeah, that screen was seriously burnt in from that. Like, it was perma burn. And you can and, see that on arcade cabinets too yeah, like yeah the worst stuff is on arcade cabinets because they had the same game for years yeah yeah unchanging maybe not even unplugged arena foot says you can control the item in the room when you're in a room with an item in this game move the item to the square i didn't know that oh well we will wait so there is interaction i thought mm. you just okay oh you can well that makes it easier you got 313, 19 <laughs> points yes. without doing that? Yes. Wow. Well, I just let it run for 12 hours. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's pretty, pretty good. good. Um, what was I going to say? There there was a game. Oh, Here, you can do this one. Get it quick before oh. he runs out of the room. Woo! Woo! Um, just don't touch the walls. What happens if you touch the walls? The f what? 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 There's a different... Oh, okay. Um, there is an Android game called Progress Quest. And it was exactly like this game. Except, you know, there was armor and weapons. And, and like, it was a full game. But, but you, you did do nothing. <laughs> you did, and it actually played while you were away. <laughs> so it was kind of like uh, watching someone else play on Twitch or something. Except yes. you didn't rely on those people. Yes, yeah. But were they entertaining? True. It was pretty good because it was very complex. It was it had a lot of stats and everything, like a full RPG game. Um, but it was just the readout. You didn't see him playing, I don't think. Um, what was the other one I was going to mention? Oh, 
um, Fallout Shelter. When you sent the guys off into, I don't know if you played that ever on Android. I saw it, but I didn't play it. Yeah. When you sent people out of the vault, yeah, uh, they went out and gathered supplies, and they did that automatically. You'd send them out, and then they would come back at a random time. Yeah. With you could recall them, yeah. so there was interaction, but they would have gone on quests and got gold and and other th items. Oh, okay. Without actually. Oh, and you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, don't touch the walls before you will not get any points. That kind of that kind of ruins the game for me. Yeah. That you can that you can move the items. And, yeah. Because then it makes it into a game. It, more of a game. Like so it ruined the game, but it, it couldn't have it. ruined the game until it ruined the game. Because before it ruined the game, it wasn't a game. That's true. So if you're ignorant of that fact, it's totally wow. Fun. That was the quickest level. <laughs> it just went right through. It was if, almost directly straight line through. That was very good level, except for the lack of points. And if you notice, he moves right more than left. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And never never has he I've, accidentally gone through that one. I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never even seen him come close to coming to going through that. So there must be some programming. It's like you can't go further back than... Than you started. Back. Yeah, then, then, the you, first... then your previous time that you moved back. Yeah. No, Something you can't. Like no, you can go further back, but just up to a point. Like no, there. Look, no, he, he didn't meant... go further back. He went he only stopped. as far back as he had gone the last time before yes. he went forward. Yes. That Whenever... time. Oh, I move the. F... Oh, okay. Whenever I control the item, I move it to the far right opening and wait for the square to come to the item. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. But I, I. I don't think that's less cheating. <laughs> no. I don't think that's less honorable or anything. Like I. So this is the most non-game. No, it it went back further. All the way to the wall. No, it went back further than what I was oh, proposing. Oh, than the first. M well, I move. was saying that it doesn't go back past the point of the last time it went forward. Oh, okay. But yeah. it did. Okay. So that's wrong. So we're gonna do one more thing in this game and then move on. As soon as another item comes, we're going to move it to the exit. I'll let you do that. No, I'll let you do time. it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, and you can... Yeah, I found that one before I realized that I had absolutely no control. <laughs> I thought maybe I was able to influence it in a very indirect way. Oh, uh, yes. I, I, and I never figured out how I... <laughs> so, so you can play I eventually decided that I wasn't able to influence it. Which I believe was like actually the case that I was not able to influence it. Maybe it has an Easter egg somewhere. Maybe. It'd be kind of cool to have a game put out where you have no idea what is happening and everything is very obscure of what you're trying to do. Like, like that. We just discovered that. And if he didn't tell us we could move the items when it goes into a room. I would have never figured that out either. But like things like that, yeah. where you don't know really what you're doing, even when you are doing it. Yeah. And but it gets more and more and builds as time goes on. I bet there's games like that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, you don't die when you hit the exit. That's a pretty big target. So you should be able to get that. And then we'll move on to game number four, because I'm sure this is enthralling. <laughs> Very, uh, well, like, I bet the, I bet, I bet they're all sitting there wondering, like, when yeah. is some hardware going to break again? <laughs> Come on, break the hardware. Break the hardware. <laughs> okay. Moving on to game number four. Uh, oh, yeah. So let's go back to the video camera. There we go. I think maybe the chat window on here needs to be taller because you can only see one comment at a time there. Even though it covers Ooh. up the... Uh, That's not good. Even though it covers up the uh, preview of the game, you can, only you see can still one. see through oh, it. Oh, because people are talking. No, because it's not, yeah, cause it's not very tall is what I'm saying. It doesn't... Oh, it only maybe. kind of It only kind of covers up no, the I, preview. You can see through the, the text You to can it. only stretch it. You can't make more. What? Oh, so it only has three lines? Yeah. Let me just try that. I swear there were more lines on Wednesday. 
Uh, because the type text was small. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. I see what you're saying. Second. There's no point in stretching it if it's not going to give you more lines then. I uh, don't, let me just try it out, but I don't think it does. There you go. You can go load up, man goes down. The, the date is wrong. It's not the 16th, it's the 15th. So please excuse my terrible man goes down. Oh. There we go, that's why we couldn't see it. Silly. One was the opposite, one was on top. I was actually making it worse. <laughs> Put the black... Oh, my God. oh we, he said we got three points for that last one. I guess it's probably just the shape of it. Oh, it's Not positioning, one. but maybe you get more points if, there we go. If, the, if the square runs into it. Because that would explain how you got 319 oh, points. Oh, yeah, that's true, you get... Four know. points by not be not moving it. So you couldn't expand it. Uh, oh point. yeah, I was going to do that, but I got sidetracked on something that was also important. No. Yeah, it's too bad. It is. Um. I mean, bigger does make it more readable, so. Maybe expand it just like you were doing. It won't give you more lines, unfortunately. No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to press the, the button goes down. and attempt to Make play the game. Be with you. Let's see if you can figure it out. Uh, oh, oh, oh! You got the screen. Uh, there we go. You you that. I got run, seven run, points. Run. All right. So this is the game. Ah, right? not quite. The game that's kind of tragic. Run, run, I did get a cherry run. that time. Tragic story. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got the cherry. Okay. I got the cherry you last time. Oh, okay. And I thought I was learning something, but I wasn't because the cherry goes somewhere different. No. Oh, I did make it. Ah, but then I fell. Oh, do you see him flapping his wings? That was great. <laughs> that was awesome. Look, I got a cherry. Oh, yeah, you got the cherry on the board. Uh, yes, this game is awesome. Yeah, I got rid of the three. Oh, oh you just missed it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't land on a platform. Right so this game is made by Alex Herbert. And it's a work in progress. And you will know why I call it a work in progress. Even though it has not been worked on. Well, I got two, but died. For a long died. time. Game over. Run, oh, we got, run, the, run. got the strawberry. Um, so this was originally, uh, it says, my first Atari 2600 game. Posted Friday, July 9th, 2004. 10.58 a.m. Hello, people. Since I've already spilled the beans about my new game in another thread, I thought I'd post a little update. For those who don't know, I've been writing homebrews for the Vectrax oh. for a little while. Ah. Protector, Defender Clone, nothing to do with the Jag I, game of the same care. title. Probably being the most well-known. Anyway, tucked away in the initial limited release of Protector was a hidden bonus game, Spike Goes Down. Spike is the unofficial mascot of Vectrex. Um, a game which is well-suited for the Atari 2600 hardware. So recently, I started working on the 2600 version, titled to be uh, TBC, to be called. I don't know. Here's how I, it's I, looking I, I, so far. Oh, I just barely survived that one due to... <laughs> I only just started Fortune. putting in level data, so you can't get oh, very far. Blue level will finish you off. With regards to collectible objects, picking up four fruits in sequence will open up the power-ups. So you've gotten three in a row. Um, I haven't drawn the fourth fruit yet, so now it just shows a bronze question mark. The skateboard increases speed on the x-axis for a short time. Uh, oh, this has speech in it, too. But we can't really hear it, because I have to Thing turned down. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit so it doesn't mess with our head. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll be delayed though. Okay, play it again. We should hear speech. Okay. Hopefully. Run, run, run. 
No, we can't hear I it. I did. I heard it. You heard it? It's very I didn't quiet. hear what it was. I'm just setting up my new, no! new computer. I'm going to turn it down because I hate hearing myself. You run, run, run. It's very distracting. Um, the skateboard increases speed on the x-axis for a short time, good for negotiating levels with long platform small gaps. The down arrow increases gravity slightly. You need to collect several of them to feel the effect. The red stop sign temporarily slows the scrolling. The silver question mark doesn't do anything yet. Miss a fruit or power up, and you have to start back at the fruit. Number one. So don't miss any fruit. Now you should get a power up. That's a gravity power up. No! Oh, you went Why too would fast. I want a gravity power up? I don't know. <laughs> but it's a Nobody power up. Nobody understands. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that. Uh, it almost certainly changed the way this works, and the stop sign doesn't really do much for gameplay, so I'll probably ditch that. All feedback, welcome. Does it save these uh, scores? Because I have two of the top scores. <laughs> two of the top scores. Okay, my turn. There you go. So you got the... See, it's on the board now, the crowd. Run, run, run. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, that just told me that I got it. That's the list yeah. of things you got. Yeah. Um, it, it, it shows I you after you put your score like, It I know. makes it more difficult because you can't go as sideways to get things when they're like that. Well, it, it's probably one of those things where it'll become clear. Later on. Yeah, yeah. why you would need gravity. Man, no. What? And I Don't died do that. Oh, <laughs> I died you were, you didn't beat my score on your very first attempt. <laughs> I got something new, and now your gravity thing's gone. Is this just showing this my score? This is your score. Oh, uh, okay. Run, run, Beautiful title run. screen. Yeah, I That's like awesome. the uh, colors of it. I like the little dude. Okay. So, let's see. This is... Okay, now we get into the tragic portion of the story of this game. Um, so Alex Game Herbert's run, last run, post run. on Atari Age was in 2006, oh. Friday, March 31st. Here's Hi folks, it's about time I posted an update. Unfortunately, I haven't made much progress with Man Goes Down over the past year or so. I've had some health problems to contend with, including a brain hemorrhage. And it's hard to get back into a project when it's been left so long. Anyhow, the latest binary is here, which is the one we're playing. The level data is still far from complete. I still have more speech to add and other little bits to do here and there. I put in some title screen music. Known bug, the music goes crazy when you reset out of a game. And I've updated the scoring system. The number of points scored for each platform passes past increases depending on which fruit you're on. So you get more points for each platform the more fruit you get. I'm sure there were other changes, but I can't remember offhand. Hopefully I'll get this finished sometime soon. Alex. And that was the last thing he ever typed in the Atari Age forums. And the last time he was ever logged into the Atari Age forums was about a year and a half later, um, September 7th, 2007, 11.37 p.m. So he hasn't been back to the Atari Age forums in Man. almost ten and a half years. So it's very unlikely he'll be back um, to the Atari forums. Oh, slam. Oh, you lost it. Um, this was posted in 2016 by Rev Eng. Rev Eng. Uh, there's, there's nothing more Al can... Because people were asking, um, what's happening with this game? Where, Where's Alex? Is Atari Age ever going to release this game? Um, everybody loves this game. It's been out, been in this state for 10 years. And they're like, we want this on cartridge, obviously. It's, it's really cool. um, so Revenge posted this. There's nothing more Al can do, ASAP or otherwise. He tried to reach out to Alex in several ways, including snail mail. Um, so he actually physically wrote a letter to Alex to see how he's doing. Um, what's happening with the game, whether he can release it in this form or not. 
Um, Alex has been in contact with others and updated his website. And I think that was last update in 2014 with like small updates. Nothing to do with this game. Um, so he's around to some degree. He just doesn't seem to want to talk about 2600 homebrew anymore. Or talk about why he doesn't want to talk about it. It's his prerogative, however unfortunate. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of uh, kind of a mystery what's going on with him, what's going on with the game, but, and it's really sad because it's such a cool looking game. The animation, the colors, the, the music. Yeah, yeah, the, it's really good. I like it. Like the smooth movement of the guy is so good, and his little legs are are awesome his little flappy arms when he's falling a little bit is so good and I, his I, arms uh, flap when he's gonna like only when he's in danger of dying like see? uh ah! when he's like there better be a platform yeah yeah <laughs> so run, he has to barely run, pass run. the next platform level oh no he flapped a tiny bit there but yeah i'm missing the best parts the speech okay okay let's let's try and get the speech going Crank that up a little bit. Man, to deal with ourselves, feeding back a little bit, so we can hear the speech. Heavy man. What? Very bad. <laughs> heavy man. You sound like heavy man. Oh, you're doing awesome. Getting all the gravities. Whoa, no! Too many gravities. How many gravities did you, did you get? What? How am I second? You only got 100 points? Oh. You tied for first. You have to get, had to get one more point. To beat nobody? To beat nobody. To get on the score, score chart. It looks like it was 180, probably 60, 40, 20. Let's see your little graph there. Three down arrows. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. That's what he says. But he insulted you. He insulted you when uh, you died. Who did? The game. Oh, what did he say? I, it was really quiet. He talked for a little bit of it. So I didn't really hear it. First of the losers. First of the losers. <laughs> 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 oh god. No! Oh, back I, to zero. I, I, no, no, you get. Oh, he points. said something again. Oh, I see. Oh, but it just means. Oh, I see. It, it just shows you your string. But, like, it's not like you don't get points for the ones you already did. True, and but I have to build back up to um, getting the bonuses. Oh, I see. Yeah, because each platform gets Mango. more. Right? Mango. For... Mango. And it gets f uh, fast. Midget. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why you need the... the, uh, the Floaties. That's why you need the arrows, the down arrows. Oh. Oh. It's because the screen starts to get so fast that you... <laughs> you can't uh, even yeah. physically keep up. Oh, this is nice. Mango. Mango. <laughs> just goes to show uh, how terrible uh, I am at these games. This is your second play. <laughs> <laughs> You've already blown past all of the plays that I had that I was like so proud of. <laughs> ah. I can't believe oh. you died that way. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, sound effects. Nice. You have to press a button. To... No, no, I would have put it in Z. That'd be no good. And you can hold it down. Mm -hmm. Yay! Should have gone the other way. Number one! Does this use the Atari... Oh, yeah, it's using speech. It obviously you. is going to use the Atari Vox safe key. Eye hunger! It needs eye hunger, yes. Be... If he doesn't... If... if Alex doesn't want to work on it. He should, at at least, either say release it as it is, or um, release the source code for somebody run, else to work run, on it. Run. Well, it doesn't matter what he should or shouldn't do. No. He doesn't want to talk about it, and that's that's the answer. <laughs> 
terrible. I'm gonna turn down because I can uh, run, run, run. But does that mean they can barely hear it? No, they can hear it fine. It's just us. Just us. It has to come through the speakers. Usually people uh, uh, plug in the Atari Vox into like separate speakers. And turn it. Oh, whoa! whoa. I, First of the there. losers. Oh, Heavy Man. That's what it's saying for when... Ooh. Yeah, you can get that. And it's it's like Doodle Jump, where it's just yeah, simple. Yeah, that's, that's, I was going to say that earlier. I like... It's the opposite way. Except there's no jumping. It's just falling. But there's lots of games like this, but... Very few that are like perfection, like super awesome. Oh, mango. No, I could never. I, I could never. <laughs> no, that was hard. Whoa, -ho -ho! save. Run, coward, run. Yes, that would be good. That would be good addition. I, I never. Yeah, you definitely need the <laughs> gravity. So you have like no time. May the force be with you. Mmm, that might be pushing it too far for including that one. I have it there. Whoa, whoa! That's what I was going to say, no. is that you get to the point where you don't have to worry about not having a platform to land on, because it yeah. moves so fast that you... This section is full of platforms. Like, you pretty much can't die, because every space has something below it. In this section, anyway. Maybe the purple now. No, that's changed now. No! What are you doing? I, my finger got caught. Oh. I went the wrong. <laughs> just, he just stopped. Just stopped. Oh, much better score. Tricks. May the fruit be with you. Tricks. Oh, jump! I know. Oh. I know. Oh, I know it's funny terrible. You're like, you're jump. Run, run, <laughs> you're run. so jumping in this. There's only falling. And hovering when you get the little. There is no spoon. Nope. Except in the Matrix, he could actually bend the spoon. In this, we can't jump no matter how much we think about it. <laughs> no, but he didn't bend the spoon. That was the point. There was no spoon. And no spoon at all to even bend. It was all over risky. Too risky. May the fruit be with you. Game there you order. go. <laughs> that will run, work. Run, run. It's saying it's it already says that, okay. Oh it does that. That's what he's oh, saying. Okay. Cause I thought May nice. the fruit be with you. Uh, yes. Oh somebody was trying to figure out what it did say. Oh okay. that's not even that dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> even I could have gotten that one. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Yeah, that, one <laughs> that one was tricky. Yeah. Mango. Mango. Uh oh. You want that? You want it? You want it? Happy <laughs> man. Oh. Oh. Yay! Come on. No. Is it gonna reset? No. Uh, it thing, does. Yeah. It resets everything. Yeah, you have to get everything. Oh my God! How was I supposed to get that? Well, it's just, there's some fortune in this game and some <laughs> it's true. misfortune. Unfair games. Uh... Yeah! Oh! That was a fast mango grab, At least grab, you went though. out with uh, style. Oh, oh. But I didn't get first, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just knocking you off the board, and that's not very nice. Well, it would happen whether or not you put your name. That's true. Just be a blank. There you go. Make the fruit be with you. So yeah, it's a it's a cartless episode of Zero Page Homebrew. None of these games are on carts. Some of them may be on carts. Oh yeah, the um the Ram Pong is supposed to come out on cartridge at some point. Mango. Um, that would be very, very cool. Oh, Happy why? <laughs> it's too risky. It's just, I just, Game I get the momentum run, and it's just going run. and it's just, I see the arrow and the arrow is saying go. And so I go and, uh, and it doesn't work out. Take as the risk. Well as you hoped. Or as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> <laughs> 
my best game so far, I yeah. hardly got any veg any fruit at all. That's true. You're just going for the platforms. No, just none of the fruit worked for me. And so I ended up not getting <laughs> any, and then it started going so fast that I, I just occasionally got... I want to say none, I mean I didn't get very high in the list. It was like right. cherry. So you're getting all your points strawberry. from uh, just passing Because yeah. I got way further than I normally get. Oh, God. I don't think I got it. Oh, I did. But you get more points... You do, but once you start moving really fast, you hit oh more God. platforms, right? What happened? Why am I reset? You must have missed something. I didn't... I got every Don't be angry. Thing. You're just going to go back later and see the thing you missed and feel dumb about it. <laughs> On the video replay? <laughs> yes. Um, no. See, you missed a thing. You I, couldn't, that. I couldn't get that. What? So angry. So angry! <laughs> so angry! <laughs> should have seen me panky the panda that's when i got really angry did you break anything no i'm uh, smashing this controller i didn't break anything but i got angry <laughs> on super like you need to bring something to each episode that you can break like a squishy stress ball you. that's not breaking <laughs> but you can keep smashing it and it'll still be fine yeah, but that's not breaking something. I got breaking something is, oh, shit, I went too far. It's broken now. That pack, can never be repaired. Pack that's rat. really... Ah! Packrat Video Games, yes. And I <laughs> and I, I emailed um, I emailed Packrat Video Games about Ram Pong um, about a month ago. And he says it is on the list, but he has no release date for it. And, and Thrust26, the author of the game, <laughs> the guy who made it, there's no idea why it's taking years, obviously. <laughs> like, just do it. Just put it out. Run, put run, it out, run. pack rat. Stop your, stop your procrastinating. Stop your pack ratting it. And I just ordered a bunch of games from pack rat. So. Now you're mad about it. Yeah, because I wanted to order that game, too. And, uh, I tried to order the, the, what do you call it, what was it? Retron, Retron 77. 77. And they said, not for you, not Trump for says you're not allowed to buy things from America. <laughs> I missed that. that I'm sure it. that's not the reason. Yeah, that's the, uh, the new <laughs> tariffs, no video games. <laughs> no video games for 500% video game tariff. Um, no, I'm sure that's not the reason. <laughs> yeah, steel, lumber, and video games. <laughs> And playing cards. And playing no, no, cards. no. That's 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 the retaliatory. Uh... <laughs> playing cards. Yep. I couldn't get that one. How? I, 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 Some are impossible. I could not have gotten that one. It yeah, was right that's below. They, that's how they make it random and not be the same thing every time. How are you supposed to get up in the it's levels? It's called suck it up. Sometimes things don't go your way. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're not getting that one either. I'm not even getting past that <laughs> platform. Oh. Barely squeaked in. Oh. It's getting com competitive in the high scores now. Mm, got competitive for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're still there. You're still there. I gave up pushing some years ago. Oh, that sucks. I Well, I, I guess I poked them a little bit, saying, when's it coming out? I passed your H by a long shot. Oh, I'm going for the Z again. That's not what I want. Okay, here it is. I score. Your best game ever on any game. Oh, yeah. Can't even, yeah, you should have gone, should have waited, gone down the right hand side, yeah. gotten that cherry. There will be more cherries. Oh, yeah. The next one will be a cherry. I bet. And so will the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so will the next one. And the next one. Like I said, my last best game, I got no fruits. Can't remember what I ordered through Not pack, no fruits, but few fruits. I'm going to look that up. What did I get? I haven't got it yet. It's being, uh, being slow, obviously. Pack rats. Where is it? Mango. Pack rat. There we go. Uh, oh, they're all Block pack rats. Eight zero. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that chopper works. I think it's... So, uh, you have to press the button to float. Uh, but it goes away 
Um, and the part oh, I don't understand is okay. what rules it bases the going away on. It went away when you hit a platform last time. That's you, what happened this time. You hit I, the side. Did you hit with I, your feet? My feet, yeah. It's, oh. it's like it, it stays until you run out of platform. Oh, okay. Or until you run out of fall, free fall, I guess. Yeah. So... Oh, I managed to fall off. Despite what you said, you said it was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not impossible. Oh, you're back on the scoreboard. Ah. What did I get? I got Carl Quapp, a very strange name for a game. Release, Bits and Bytes 1.1, and Test Cart. Um, and I said, very looking forward to Spaceman Splorf, Planet of Doom, and Ram Pong. Spaceman Splorf is a 2600 game? Make I think they're still working on you. that. See, there's, I know it's in C, oh my god, it did the same, is this exactly the same every game? No. No. That's, the we're, we're work. just discussing that. Oh, we're well, You get your me. points when you leave the platform, not when you land on one. Oh. Bye, Arena Which, Foot. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. See, now we can say hi in time. And bye in time. <laughs> That's so good. I'm going to get screen burn in, though. Oh, barely, barely a platform. It's like so the, many more points. I like the for every fruit you have, you add that to the base level of one oh, for each platform I, I you leave. Yeah, Which no, explains why later on, when Ugh. the screen goes up so quick, right? You're getting tons of points. Right, but only if you touch a. Oh no, only if you leave a platform, which means you have to have landed on it. Oh, okay. Spaceman Splurf looks absolutely great. So like yeah, it does. I'm a little bit worried no. about the game. I should have gone to the left. Yeah. But the gameplay too, it is like a, you're just avoiding things, I think, in Spaceman Splurf. But the run, graphics run, are run. unbelievable. Some of the best color, color and graphics and music too, if I remember correctly. Because I remember they they made it for C64 as well, and I'm not sure if I'm remembering the. 2600 version of the C60. There the C64 version. Yeah. Are you ready? Run, run, run. <laughs> what time is it? Are we neglecting the cats? No, we're still good. Okay. Play a couple more games of this. These little legs give up after a little while. After, uh, even if you keep pressing, oops, demoing right the legs. Silly me. May the fruit be with you. Yeah, and the little tiny cherries in the corner look um, look so good. Nope. Yeah, the graphics in this are I, really I, good. I, I like the little dots on the left oh, and, and right you, hand side. That... You lose the uh, bonus. Why? You, um, it leaves Game your screen order. anyways. I don't know if you lose the run, effect of run, it run. immediately. Of I think missing? you lose the effect of having ever gotten any fruit the moment you miss one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fruit disappears from the right hand side. Yeah, it makes sense because otherwise you would just avoid fruit from then on. <laughs> Continue <laughs> to get the full bonus. Yeah, as soon as you miss one, it's all over for the bonuses. Ooh. That one was a little tricky. Not imp Wait, wait. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, you were right. I, I, I should have waited. I was getting anxious about it. I think I'm concentrating too much on getting the fruit Maybe when it gets fast. I'm trying to see if you have to touch, if you have to have touched the platform to get the points for it, if they just have to pass. As soon as you leave the platform, it seems to. Yeah, but if you oh. fall past, yeah, see, if you fall past some, you I, don't I, get I, anything for the ones you fall past. Right. You have to touch it. Ooh, that was close. Ah. Uh, that one I, I know. look at the video afterwards and see it it's hard to when it gives the score you mean like when it gives you or whether it gives you points for I, falling I past them yeah. it might maybe not as much as oh that kind of look oh Why? damn it still you're There's you're rocking the score there, there. Oh, you didn't put that first I thought you did it's very close There 
we go. Oh, and I bought this. This came today. Mm. It's. I think you said this game today, oh. and I was like, what? What is it, Shower Curtain Game? <laughs> shower Curtain Game! <laughs> no cartridge or Atari 2600 required. <laughs> it's the Overdoor Organizer. Can you guess why I bought it or what I bought it for? Uh, for putting new controllers. Yeah, I already told you that. Before. No, you didn't. Really? No, no. There it is. I just imagine. I just look. I just um, remembered your paddles. Oh yes. Run, so run, no, I'm not going to put shoes in it. I am going to put. This is the biggest opening that I could see. Um, because some had more and some were longer. So I'm going to see if this fits the paddles. And if it fits the paddles, it should. Actually, joysticks are bigger. Um, but paddles will be a good test because there's two of them. So let's take a look. Man. And this will be very oh. handy so I can just go and grab. Bugger it. You look busy. Bugger it. Bugger it. Bugger it. Bugger it. Bugger it. But I do need the paddles. So there it is. It's not bad. It's fairly ugly, but it'll be hanging on a white door, so it should be disguised fairly well. I don't want to interfere with your game, so I'll wait for you to finish. Oh, these pockets are bad. That's not bad. I think I could fit an original 2600. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Maybe it can kind of sit in the top. So I got it for all the controllers. Most new controllers are fairly flat. Um, what are some other controllers? Yeah, most of them would be fine. It's the 2600s what? that were like no, you're right. joysticks. I didn't miss anything. That time. I didn't miss anything, but it, it like reset me. Re it reset me to cherry. Oh, yeah. That yeah, doesn't yeah, mean that doesn't mean you miss out. That just means yeah. that's what happened to you too. You still get points, but it's not as many points. No, no, no. What I mean is that I had all the things, and then a cherry showed up, and I was like, what the hell? I already... I didn't miss anything. Oh. But I think it's just that you've looped around, and it's time for oh. a cherry. I think you get best, or fruit, 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 and, it's and then you get... Bunch of bonuses. Then you get bonuses, and then it's fruit. I don't know if that's oh. true. It's yeah, possible see, I missed something. Yeah, see, one cherry. That's right. Then it would go to two cherries. Yeah, so it's fruit, 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 and then you get bonuses, and then fruit, 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 fruit. Here. You can play with that. You try... <laughs> Put in the the paddles there. <laughs> and actually, there's a white box up there. This paddle is a size eight. <laughs> Maybe one at a time, and then yeah. yeah. And they don't have to fit in perfectly. No, just they just have to hang. Yeah. And there's a white box up there with a bunch of controllers. And. Um, you may want to use two hands, maybe not. Hands. Oh, that's fine. Okay. And we'll see how they all fit in. See if my plan works. If not, I'll have to get something with bigger holes. Because I wanted controllers handy, but out of the way. And right now I'm keeping them in this white box. Which is not handy. Which is okay. Run, run, but run. not ideal. Oh, I just barely got that one. Uh, so, Thomas, you made some suggestions to Spaceman Splorf? Yes, Darcy is cleaning my room. It was a clever guy's. Darcy, could you see if these fit? Could you see if the dust fits in the garbage bin? You can see who's laughing when you have to do it again because I did not organize them the way you wanted <laughs> That's them. That's true. Is this a vacuum Locked still work? Oh, I hit the thing immediately after I got the... Yeah, the cherries come again. That makes sense. So now I'm on two cherries. I was deceived because at the bottom, it erases all your fruit. So I was yeah. like, oh, what? I That's, missed that, it. That also fooled me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that possibly oh. caused me to die well, my because I was bonus. busy being outraged when there was ah. no time for uh, I'm going to go again. A not so clever a ploy. Cunning plan. A cunning plan, yes. I'm gonna leave your uh, chargers in here though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need chargers. 
Aaron, you have room for more. Too. And there's an SNES controller down the shelf below I, 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 as well. Are you going to be able to close the door with all of them? Uh, that's another good question. I usually have it closed because of bad cats. And the cats are bad. Oh! Yeah, you're gonna redo this anyways, because they're run, not, they're run, not the way run. they should be. So let's see. Uh, let's just see. Oh, wow! No, that totally works for everything, you, except uh, the paddles are a little bit weird. But you could span it over, too. You could. Uh-oh. No, 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 he'll... No, 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 he'll, no, no, he's no, already don't crashing it. I know, but... <laughs> That's true. He had his claw in the corner. Um, show the audience. Run, run, run. The audience. You're you're good. All our buddies. Oh, yeah. So it you, works. Uh, it's pretty good. And um, brought down some stickies because you have to put it above the door and there's not much room and it looks ugly with the metal little hangers. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use little stickies to. Hang it up. Yeah, we'll see if those work. Yeah, and if these are bad, I'll get the bigger ones because the bigger ones. Because there's stronger. a reason they gave you metal hangers to hang on the top. Run, Probably, run, run. but they were expecting shoes, which uh, I guess are about the same weight. Uh. Oh, that's a scam. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, my peripheral vision told me that that uh, cube was a fruit. Oh, <laughs> it was not a fruit. Ah, it was a tiny little. Yeah, it's a square watermelon fruit. What happens if you hit the side of a platform? Uh, nothing. Because I've seen Land you hit it. Ball. I've hit it or you hit it with uh, that, the helicopter thing. And you just bounce. Hero. Oh, you keep it. Is it? Yeah, must, oh, it, oh, is it is the side. It is the side. How many points did I get? You have 68. <laughs> How many points did you get for what? For a new platform. Uh, let me see, 84, 4 right now. And now it's 1. 4. And now it'll be I, I, I. 1. Yeah. Your score does not go up much. Uh, oh! When you don't have any fruit, that's for sure. And now it's going up 2. Oh! oh you definitely avoided all those platforms. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> oh, you got on the scoreboard. I this is a it. permanent scoreboard. It's not permanent because got someone's the Atari gonna, box plugged in. Someone's gonna beat my score very handily. I wonder who designed the name, the label. Nathan, maybe? I think it might have been Nathan. I like. I mean, it wouldn't have been my first choice for the label. There's, it's a bit cluttered. Like it's a newspaper. It's a very cool label, but it's it's cluttered. It's it is a really good label that, if it's anything like board games, would not sell. <laughs> if you are basing it off of the label. But the thing about that is this market... He runs like a board the label, game store, by the way. The, the label is secondary in this market, right? Like yeah. People aren't just cold, you're not cold game calling play. it. It's like people look at it. People are just like aren't just looking the through the games and going, which one looks good? They're like, there's more There's more reason other than the, the picture. These, these but aren't I know stores, because we have the games, that, good games, yeah. that don't sell. And they look like that. <laughs> they look like a newspaper, like specifically that type of thing with a right. newspaper. So that's what I guessed. That yeah. it's just too cluttered. It's too like what? What am I looking at? It's like yeah, it's it a doesn't bunch of black and white. Doesn't look like a game. No, it's it like a newspaper. Doesn't. It's too successful. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bottom corner it says Mang Mango Down. Uh, mangoes are uh, very good. It's very funny. I like that. It's like a sub headline yeah. of another story. Quite clever, quite clever. How's that working out for you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> and the fruit um, on the bottom right is very, very smart because you see there's two green reds in a row, and then it ta changes to Mango. two. Oh no, maybe there is no. multicolors there. Okay, do not hit the side. Yeah, you can hit land on platforms, but you cannot. Uh, wow. First time I've actually successfully no, used this No, because every device. time I was continuing to use... Oh, ah! Oh, was, every other time I was continuing to use my jumping uh, muscles, which are not all that great to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> and so I did not... 
<laughs> That's impossible it. without the. I have ah, oh, why? You got. Because I didn't see the platform. That was game like... over. Well, you don't. You need to get off. Once you get to that point, it's not. Yes. It's getting off platforms. Plat platforms. <laughs> platforms. That is the important thing. You do because there's. May the you, fruit be with you just you. move too fast, and you certainly should have enough time to. Ooh, you might be able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those cherries were not worth it. <laughs> not at all. Risked your life for those cherries. And no, it wasn't my life. They was, weren't tasty enough. It was Man Falls. <laughs> Man Falls life? Mangles, mango, mango down! Mango down! Would that be like a, a real thing? Like you have a team mango? You need to mango down? Of course, that would be a thing. It's Alpha Bravo. What is it? What is it? What's M? Uh, Mike. Mike. So it'd be Mike down if it was. Unless you used your own code to deceive people. Or just because you don't know what the actual code is, which is <laughs> the reason most people use a different code. <laughs> uh, Mango Alpha here. Mango. Okay. <laughs> Actually, let me see who developed that label, because I have a link in my notes Mango. to the label contest. Block eight here. No! What? How did I end up going down? I thought, you, do you have to hold up to go up? Uh, no, you just press the B button to You have to fly. press a button? Yes. Sorry, the button does something in this game? Yes. Is, is that the only thing it does? Yeah, so far. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm... Nathan Strum uh, submitted that. You look busy. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, submitted that cover uh, on 2004, in 2004, 14 years ago. There's lots of really nice covers, like really, really good covers. I wonder if I can paste it into the chat, now that I have processor power to do things. Uh, keep. Let's see. Man, oh. paste things in the chat. Well, I am the moderator, so I should be able to. You think? Happy man. Here's the label contest. Oh yeah, it works good. I don't know if you guys can click. You should be able to click on it. Looks like a clicky thing. Where's my mouse? Yeah, oh, there was like I, 30, I, I, 40, oh my god, so many no! label. What did the winner get? I hope it wasn't uh, <laughs> just pushing myself the off. game, because that would be very sad. Uh, what is the prize? Contest or run? Contest it has ended. Um, oh, one more, one more game run, to play. Run. Run. Before I, before my turn, just trying to figure out what the prize yeah. is for the game, for the contest, the label contest. Man goes. Oh, he didn't even read the little write up. Man goes down. No, it's not rude. Just an accurate description of the gameplay. You see, you control this little guy negotiating platforms that continuously scroll up the screen. Get pushed off the top or fall off the bottom, and it's game over. Oh, there's fruit and other no goodies mango. to collect. Oh, you missed it. To collect along the way to help you on your journey down. There are 12 different items to collect in all. We've seen six. Man goes down fully supports Richard Hutchinson's Atari Vox speed module. Not only does it add cool synthesized speech to the game, it also stores the preferred TV mode. Plus the top five scores with the oh, players. Oh, I missed NFL. Mango again! <laughs> oh. Well, you keep talking. Hey, run, Atari run, Age and Man run. Goes Down author Alex Herbert are sponsoring a contest to create the original label artwork for Man Goes Down. The label artwork will appear in all copies of Man Goes Down. No, it won't. Which will be available in the Atari Age store shortly after the contest. No, it didn't. The artwork will also be featured on the cover of the manual created for Man Goes Down. You can follow the development of Man Goes Down in our homebrew discussion, blah, blah, blah. Too many Man Goes Down. I know. I keep saying it. <laughs> created for the game would be a better thing to put. Man ah, Whoa! Oh, he saved yourself. I know. <laughs> oh, the winner of the contest will receive a copy of Man Goes Down. 
No, sorry. Sorry, Nathan. You didn't get that copy. Or maybe you did. Maybe you're the only guy who has a copy. And somehow, Give us your copy! And, and you're bitter about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was James' bitter voice. Uh, he uses that for coconut-flavored uh, anything. That it, not coconut just, flavored ice cream! It's specifically coconut flavor that's been given to him by someone else. Yes. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> buy it. Why would I buy it? Man, it's no. N no, not when it's given to you every time for ice cream. Yeah, no, it, it really doesn't change the fact that it's delicious. I mean, it's, oh, I gotta press the button! Oh, yeah. There you go. Now don't hit the sides. Oh, you hit the side. I just specifically told I you. I know not you to did, say. but speaking doesn't change reality. It just. Oh, you did it and you died. Oh my god. And you're still taking risks. <laughs> well, it's risky not to jump. Okay. At, at that point. You've still only seen six different things. Oh, and you get an Atari box too? You also get an Atari box. That's very cool. It's too late. The contest is years old run, and run, already won. Run. wonder if he got the Atari box, because that existed. I doubt it. Or maybe he did. Like, why not? Why wouldn't he given, be given the thing that existed? Just because he didn't get the game. Yeah. It's a sad thing overall. He had a, a brain hemorrhage and just noped out of everything. Oh, I can't believe you did that. Oh, my eyes are scrolling. Why did you do that? Are your eyes scrolling? Did you did, have they been scrolled at all? You know when you you're looking at something that's constantly moving and then it stops moving, but it actually looks like it's still moving. I'm not sure of the name of that, but it's a thing that happens. I get that if you're walking on like a treadmill or something and then you stop and then you yes. feel like, and then you start walking, and you're like, oh my god, I'm going places. It's similar. <laughs> it's the exact same thing, except with your eyes. With you. And it and your eyes keep going. It's not dinner time yet. It's very close. The cats are at the door. The wolves are at the door. The cat wolves. The cat wolves. <clears throat> oh! Well, you missed Bloody it. Bloody owl. Bloody but strawberry. It's worse because I only missed it due to foolishness. Oh, that is the worst. It's the worst kind of missing. So if you missed Wednesday's broadcast, uh, we played Super Cobra Arcade as part of the homebrew contest that was running, that is running, all through June uh, for, obviously, Super Cobra Arcade. Lando. I did come in third place. The guy who's running the competition is in Happy first place. Lando. So I think it's kind of fixed. Because fixed. the winner of the whole thing gets a game that he gets to pick. Like, you get to win a game. But how how is it possible ah, he's boo. just going to give the game to himself if he wins? He says he counts. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's all fixed. Anyway, he's really, really good at Super Cobra Arcade. So, he's well beyond second place. Second place is like 33,000 points. And he has 111. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Still, my best score yet. Oh, nice. I beat one of your scores, even. This is an outrage. An outrage, I tell you. Um, yeah, so I came in third, and then after the, sh the next day after the show, somebody beat my score, so I'm in fourth place. And Tanya got up on the board in fifth, and now sixth place. Made the Did pretty good, with you. actually. Really good. Oh. Oh. Yay! And tomorrow, not tomorrow, next Wednesday, I don't play this every day. It's not a daily stream. Not making any money. How can I do this daily? <laughs> <laughs> not independently wealthy here. Um, that would be nice. Please donate. <laughs> so I can play Atari games all day every day. It's my dream and my nightmare. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Yeah, any hobby that turns into work, that's not what you want. Then it becomes something tedious and terrible. Oh, can I do it? Oh, oh, that was lucky. I don't think I would have made it back to that platform. Man, no. Oh, all four. Now for the mystery. The same one we've seen over and over. Yeah, it's because Every the other ones man. are higher level ones. Uh, uh, this is too fast. Mystery. 
Now I've got reset again, and I'll never see the top ones. No, I'm dead. Did I make it? You did. Ooh, just barely. That's. It barely counts being fifth, because you're just gonna be bumped off next time. Mm -hmm. And what is your stance on? The letter going to back to nothing as opposed to staying on P for the next letter. I don't like that. I like it staying on the letter and then you have to go back because invariably you have to scroll quite a bit to get back. I don't know which is better. They're kind of the same thing. Yeah. It's the, the next letter, unless you can show a relationship between the last letter and the next letter, which you might be able to do, but... Yeah, that's true. Make and the variance of letters that people use to type in. Has anybody done a uh, university <laughs> study on that? You can go again. That was terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it's it's terrible. It's terrible. Sad. Sad. <laughs> bad, just like... You got like two points, I think. Maybe even just one. Oh, come on. Oh, we... <laughs> Are we past you, that curve uh, run, of run, run. you get better and then you get worse? That curve happens right <laughs> away for me. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I, just... I think we've hit that curve. You, uh, may the fruit be with you. Usually game two is that curve for me. <laughs> Where you kind of know the game, but you're still in the luck phase. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing and you're kind of just... Lucking out on everything. I, 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 yeah. yeah. It's when you start knowing how to play, where you're like str strategizing, but doing it terribly. Well, your your <laughs> your gameplay suffers because of your strategizing. Yeah, because you're thinking about other things rather than just natural. Yeah. I was lucky. Mango. Mango. Nope. Nope. Restart. That's okay. Uh, that much <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to play one more game after this. And we're going to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Uh, next Wednesday, we're going to be playing, which is the next show, we're going to be playing um, something kind of related to this, except going in the opposite direction. Doodle Jump. Revisited. And we're going to be playing an exclusive new build of Doodle Jump. Oops. Um, mostly it is a bug fix, I, I, but he has changed a few things around. Um, so we will get the exclusive, um, first look at Doodle Jump. Um, he'll be releasing it, uh, to the forums on the same day, but, uh, we'll get a, f hopefully first look. Maybe it'll be released in the forums before I get to play it. Cause that happened before. But Mango! <laughs> Mango! Get it, get it, get it. Yeah! Well, Don't hit the side. Hit the button, hit the button! Woo, 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 Don't woo, hit the top! Woo, woo. Oh, ho, ho. too much buttons. I flew a little bit. Game over. I did some flying run, there. It's run, like operation. Run. Don't it's, hit the it's, sides. It's not, uh, I don't feel too bad that I failed to uh, fly properly the first time I remember to use the button. <laughs> it might have been the second time, I don't know. Um, maybe the second time. But it was a much more successful Still, it's, time. It's a very different before. game, and you hardly Ugh. get any opportunities to practice it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you don't. I, I, I. Obviously, this game it looks very stable on the feed because there's no. There's only one sprite on a line at a time. Yeah. I'm guessing that is using the play field. Yeah, it would be. As the drawing graphics. Mango. Oh yeah, they're way too big for using the ball. For the man. Oh. oh. It. I get that. Oh uh, nope, I'm not getting that. Do not be tempted by I the fruit, the forbidden fruit, because it's too yeah. fast at some points. Oh, I don't know if I've made it you on the board. The yeah. Good. At least I finished off a little strong. <laughs> At least in fourth place. Oh, see, yeah, it's it's moving. It's moving down for me. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Ever so slightly. 
It's like, oh, the scores are going off the screen. There we go. Awesome, awesome sauce. So thanks once again to everybody who tuned in. Uh, hopefully uh, the stream looked a little bit better this time because I'm on a new computer with much more power. And of course we have the sock cam. And you can see my Kaboom socks. And my not interesting socks. Look at my not interesting socks. Over, over uh, exposed white socks. Yeah, I mean it's just a simple webcam. Um, but it's nice because you can see the Harmony cartridge, which helped today when we played Ram Pong. When I pulled it out, you can see nothing was in there. And it's also good for submitting high scores um, to high score like world records because they always want you to to sh to show the system and the settings and the cartridge oh, well, in there. Oh, that will be very handy to me <laughs> <laughs> when I start handing in my high scores to the world record. I almost have two world records wow. now. Wow. Um, AVCS Tech Challenge. I'm like six votes away. I don't know if that counts as world almost record. having it. As though you're building towards <laughs> it and you have you well, have some of the ding-dongs. You've collected all of the keys <laughs> except one and you just need to collect one more key and you will have the world record! World record. All that previous stuff counts for nothing until you get the world it's, record. It's not an amazing score, but it's beating the other scores that are listed there. And it's the she, only is this trash talk? He's just like... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm qualifying my terrible score. <laughs> in fact. <laughs> All the other scores are on more. The, this is like... More. You're giving like backhands to these other <laughs> no, scores. Like, oh, my I'm score not. is so bad. It's only because close to the best <laughs> score in the world. <laughs> <laughs> because in the, in the contest, people beat me. So mm. they, if they just submitted their scores... But they only have screenshots. I have video. Ah, Video's yes. better. Yep. And they actually almost require video for putting your score as the top score. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, just having a screenshot, you can fake that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what was I talking about? Nothing. I was talking about nothing. I was talking about the always cameras. Nothing. The yeah, cameras, always yes. Nothing. Um, yeah, so next uh, next show is uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 10 p.m. Eastern, and 5 a.m. or whatever. What what time would it be? 7 plus 8 uh, would be 12, 13. 3 a.m. Yeah, 13. 13? Yeah. <laughs> it's, fun. It's, I, it's fun math. In my head, that no, makes sense. It's not. It's 15. It's, no. So it's 3. What's that? Seven plus eight, seven plus seven is fourteen. Seven yeah, but seven, seven, seven plus, plus eight is fifteen. Is, leaves five left over. No, seven plus eight is fifteen. No, minus seven, twelve, which is when the clock starts seven, again. So it's three seven hours plus left. five <laughs> minus twelve leaves leaves uh, three left over. Yes, that's what I was saying. Okay. I was using like internal speak, which yes. does not make logical sense. Well, you're but trying to get to twelve from seven. That's right. And then finding how much left over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is actually a way they teach math now. That's how I've always done it. Yeah. And it is good, a good way. Yeah. It's easier in decimal. And and sometimes it, it works fairly well with clocks, too. Yeah. Um, I always, like, even though you were taught to do it from the left to the right, when I started to do math in my head, I would go from the right and just, like, no. You're taught from right to left or something, yes, right? Yes, right to yeah, left. But I always the smallest do left to, to right. And uh, I, so I add up this, and then I go here, and then I just chuck the number over there and add that one up. <laughs> I don't know. It just works it's better. extra steps, quicker. but hey, if it works, But it's it fewer works. steps. It's, few, it's, it's a more logical adding... way to remember it, because when you think of a number, you start on the left. So, when you're, yeah, so yeah. you're able to associate... For me, like you associate the number more naturally starting on this side. If you start on this side, it it's not actually a number yet. No. It's just data. But if you start on this side, it's a number. It doesn't it's work like, well with three adding two three-digit numbers together. But that's what I left. do it with. I have like a row of four-digit numbers. Mm. And that's what I... That's the only example it, it I have. It could totally work. It totally does work. Like you just have to add them up and then add that and then go boink yeah. if one and then... Yeah, you're just... But if you went the other way, you don't have to you do don't, that carryover. But, but you don't have anything to remember. You have to re because a number starts on the left and goes to the right. If you're reading it out, yeah. You and don't so have to have anything. it's natural for your brain to like 
it's already a number. You're like, it's 1,000 something. You know that it's 1,000. And then, so when you get here, oh, it's 2,000. You know, it's 2,000 something. But you can't go, it's one plus a higher than one number. Like it yeah. does, I mean, you can, but that doesn't go naturally for me. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Um, I suppose it says, I'll ask Nathan if he received anything for the winning art and man goes down. Yes, please. That would be very interesting. Um, and Thrust26 says, Bandicam is good for recording from an emulator. Also, actually, something that's free is OBS, which I broadcast with. And it can record windows. It can record a whole screen. It's awesome. It's really, really good. And you can specify the frame rate. You can specify everything. You can even put your name on it if you want and type it, type your name on it. Um, it's super, super awesome. I highly recommend OBS. Not much of a learning curve. It's very straightforward. Um, so, yeah, definitely do that um, rather than Bandicam. I, I think Bandicam puts something on it. It's like you, you have to, there's a free version and a paid version, and the free one says Bandicam. This puts nothing. It's totally free. So definitely take a look at OBS OBS Studio. Call? Yeah, OBS Studio. Yeah, it's very, very awesome. Especially for streaming. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, subscribe, follow, like, all the things. In here, if you're watching this live on Twitch. If you're not watching this live on Twitch, watch this live on Twitch. And if you're watching this on... Uh, YouTube, subscribe, because I need 100 subscribers so I can actually put a real name to the, to the channel. Um, it's almost there. It's halfway there to 50. So please subscribe. Are you subscribing right now? Yep. Yes. <laughs> 51, if anybody else hasn't done it in the meantime. Um, and uh, that's it from us. And uh, I will see you on Wednesday. Darcy will see you. Maybe next Friday. Maybe. Because there's the video game thing. What do I look up to find you to like it? Zero page homebrew. Okay, there it is. There I go. had a space between zero and... It, I, I'm coming up first now for zero page. <laughs> I'm subscribed. I'm number 51. Oh, I, I hit yes. the, the notification bell. Bing! Hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding. 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 <laughs> do all the things. Uh, I'm on Instagram... Bye, dollar zero zero. Bye. Ciao. That is a shorthand for the name, I guess. Zero page. <laughs> mm. uh, the summary. The summary. The summary. Oh, you might be here next Friday. Possibly, maybe. Next to go, Friday? To go to the video game convention. It's, uh, it's probably no, not going to happen. No, now it's not mm. going to happen because you, you want that other thing. I would like to go anyways, but it's, it's <laughs> probably not going to happen. Okay. So he'll see you next Friday after. I'll see you next Wednesday. And for Doodle Jump, <coughs> dying. So it's a good time to sign off. <laughs> <laughs> so bye bye, everyone. Bye, Thrust, bye, Sposta, an arena foot who ran away a long time ago, and all the other people in the chat. So see you later. Bye. Ciao.